Halftime back at Nippert Stadium between Crystal Palace FC and FC Cincinnati. And Palace, an English Premier League side with a lot of history and tradition. Playing in South London, a club that's been playing football, as they call it, on the other side of the pond for over 100 years. For more, we go back to our friends from Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace Football Club was formed in 1905 in South London at the site of the iconic glass building from which we took our name. But it wasn't until 1924 that we found our spiritual home, the famous Salas Park. And in 1969, we finally made the big time with promotion to the top tier of English football. With an eye on the future, charismatic fedora-wearing coach Malcolm Allison changed the club's colours and nickname. Overnight, the Glaziers became the Eagles and the famous red and blue striped uniforms were adopted for the first time. Rookie coach Terry Venables, who went on to manage Barcelona in England, took charge in the late 70s and moulded an exciting young team of local players. It was also the first time we saw the iconic sash kit. Ian Wright and Mark Bright helped break new ground as the Eagles soared to their first FA Cup final in 1990. And led by legendary ex-Manchester United star Steve Koppel, we also became founder members of the English Premier League. The 90s saw the club flip-flop between the top two divisions, and in that time the US provided the Eagles with some key players. Crowd favourite Jovan Karofsky and defensive rock Greg Berhalter, the latter becoming Palace's first ever World Cup representative. More player success in the early part of the new millennium gave the fans plenty to cheer about, but off the field financial problems meant by 2010 the club was on the brink of liquidation. Step forward a team of Palace fans led by Steve Parrish to save the club from extinction. Steve and his co-owners presided over the astonishing rise of the Eagles which saw the team improve year on year starting with second-tier survival, then promotion via the playoffs, followed by three successful seasons in the Premier League. Local heroes Wolf Zaha, Yannick Balassi and Jason Punchin have been joined by international stars like Mile Jedinak and Johan Kabai. And as the club continues on its path to success, our FA Cup run in 2016 very nearly resulted in a famous victory over Manchester United at Wembley. But despite defeat, our fans showed the world what it means to be part of the famous Red and Blue. We are CPFC. This is our history. Halftime in Nippert Stadium where Crystal Palace FC leading FC Cincinnati 1-0 thanks to a goal in the eighth minute. Tom Glitter, happy to be back with you alongside FC Cincinnati president Jeff Birding, who's put a lot of work into tonight. Jeff, you made the announcement last night at an event downstairs sure. as your ticket guys were watching the computers and watching those last few seats be sold, that it's a sold out crowd, 35,000 and change here at Nippert Stadium. Congratulations Thank to you. you and your staff. I know Thank a lot you. of hard work over the last two months went in to get to this, but it has to be a great thrill just to look out and see oh, it's the stadium it's in, tremendous. in this way. Um, obviously, we're so grateful for the embrace of our community. Uh, we said from the very beginning, Cincinnati is a big league sports town, and I think we're showing it tonight. We made the announcement two months ago that Crystal Palace would come here to Cincinnati to take on your club. You had an open Saturday on the schedule, so it worked out in their tour. But how do those conversations begin with a club overseas to see if it'll fit, to see if it makes sense both for both of these teams? Well, obviously we were drawing enormous crowds from the from the get-go. So uh, we have a great venue here in Nippert, and uh, I think that people saw that we play a very attractive soccer. Uh, John Harks, our coach, Carl in our ownership group, and uh, I think we were just uh, – you know, a, a good draw. And obviously, as you said, the schedule worked. We had other clubs uh, contacting us, but we were excited to play Crystal Palace because they're an up and coming club just like we are. 10 wins on the season for your guys in a challenging week coming up, sure. it's fair to say. An EPL side tonight, the second place team in the Eastern Conference coming up on Wednesday night at home and then Saturday home again against the first place team in the Eastern Conference. I think it's exciting. It's great for soccer fans. It has sure. to be a dream come true and a great opportunity for folks maybe who didn't get a ticket for tonight to come back out Wednesday or next Saturday or both. Absolutely. New York Red Bulls, classy organization. Uh, they're in second place, a point ahead of us. Uh, Louisville City, our big rival, River City's Cup will be decided next Saturday. We're hoping we can do over 20,000 again next Saturday against uh, Louisville City. Uh, you know, we're trying to make the playoffs. And then once you make the playoffs, you want to make some noise in the postseason. And that's our aim, and I feel real good about where we are. We're going to hear from Mayor Cranley here in a few minutes to get the civic side of things and the reaction of the city. But you were an American football guy for many, many years working with the Bengals, and they were a great partner this week as well in helping out Crystal Palace to have a grass pitch to train on. Obviously, there's no better facilities in town than the Bengals, and they're good friends, and they were very generous. We wanted Crystal Palace to, to see top-of-the-line American facilities, and, and the Bengals hosted them. And I know that uh, uh, the Palace staff and players were all thrilled to be there. 
you know, they're bringing uh, the world to Cincinnati. This is the world sport, and, and Palace brings the world with uh, soccer, and I think our fans are being entertained tonight. And it certainly sounds like Palace is going to go back to South London and have, have great reviews of the city of Cincinnati. Jeff, appreciate the time. Thank you. As always, again, congratulations on the big Thank crowd you, today.